previous maths third chapter pair of linear equations in two variables exercise 3.1 second question the coach of a cricket team buys three bats and six balls for 3900 later she buys another bat and three more balls of the same kind for 1300 represent the situation in algebraically and geometrically so when we are expressing this in the algebraically example one bad cost let x let one ball cost is y so from the first thing three bats plus six balls is equal to 3900 and one bat plus three balls is 1300 This is the first equation, and this is the second equation. From the first equation, three x plus six y is equal to three thousand nine hundred. Six y is equal to three thousand nine hundred minus three y. This plus becomes minus here. Y is equal to three thousand nine hundred minus three y divided by six. Now we have a value. Y is equal to three thousand nine hundred minus three x by six. If x is equal to hundred, then y is equal to three thousand nine hundred minus three into hundred by six. Y is equal to three thousand nine hundred minus three hundred divided by six, which is three thousand six hundred by six. Which is six hundred. When x value is hundred, y value is six hundred. And the next way, if x value is three hundred, then this will be three hundred. Three three is our nine nine hundred. Now three thousand six nine hundred minus nine hundred is three thousand by six, which is five hundred. So when x is three hundred, y value is five hundred. If x is seven hundred, then it comes as seven here. Seven threes are twenty one. Three thousand nine hundred minus twenty one hundred is one thousand eight hundred by six, which is three hundred. Now when x value is seven hundred. Y value is three hundred. So we have x value and y value here. From the second equation, one ball, one bat plus three balls is equal to thirteen hundred. One bat plus three three balls is equal to thirteen hundred. Now three y is equal to thirteen hundred minus x. Y is equal to Thirteen hundred minus x by three. Now again, if x value is hundred, if x value is hundred, y is equal to twelve hundred by three, which is four hundred. Here. If x value is hundred, y value is four hundred. Now, if x value is three hundred or four hundred, we'll see. If x value is four hundred, so here thirteen hundred minus four hundred by three. So which will be nine hundred. By three, which is three hundred. So here, when x value is four hundred, this is three hundred. Now, if x value is seven hundred, if x value is seven hundred, so this becomes seven. This becomes six hundred. So how many times? Two times two hundred. So if it is seven hundred, y value is two hundred. One more table we got from the second equation. Now, when I am showing this in the geometrically, so 
drawing the graph y axis x axis the interval should be 100 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 here also 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 so here when x value is 100 it is 600 so this is here first one is here when x value is 300 this is 500 now when x value is 700 this is 300 so if you see this line comes like this now the second one this is in the graph of 100 comma 600 300 comma 500 700 comma 300 this is the first one now the second one when it is 100 this is 400 when it is 400 this is 300 when it is 700 it is 200 so so this comes like this so here this is 100 comma 400 this is 400 comma 300 this is 700 comma 200 this is showing in the geometrically thank you